Okay, so welcome back to the vlog. We have a very big day planned. We are actually putting in the generator today. So that is huge. That's like kind of the final step to actually leaving for the Florida Keys, which is what I am super excited about. Um, so we got that plan and a couple other little projects. And then someone else decided to show up. He is right here. <laughs> so he came from Texas to visit me. Dropped 400 bucks on a plane ticket. I did. So he's here for the next five days. And it's going to be a blast. And we're going to video the whole thing. Yeah. I videoed my trip coming up here. But you guys are going to have to wait to see that. It's going to come out in a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be very conservative with the time as to when these will be released. Yeah. about to go to the generator shop to uh, see if we can get our generator finally put together. We're about to pick up the final parts for that. The reason why that's a big deal is because the generator is like the final piece to our boat puzzle. The reason why it's important is because it runs all the systems. So while we're on the water, we'll be able to have like uh, the AC and all to run all the pumps. Refrigeration. And yeah, all the refrigeration. We have solar panels, but really anything that draws like a lot of juice will have to run the generator. And it's thankfully it's a really nice generator, but we've had to have it rebuilt because it had 20,000 hours on it. Step one is we're taking this tarp here and we're gonna be putting it down on the floor to protect it. So we're going to be using that crane to get that generator into the boat. And then we're gonna see how we're gonna go from there. So that's the first. That's the second step. Generator up on deck, as you can see, and then we had this crane hold sitting right here. We had to twist it around so we can actually set the crane down and move it into the boat. So we're going to be moving it in through this hole right here, so hopefully they don't break now. So we have the generator in, which is awesome, and now we're working on getting fuel to it so we can actually get it to start. So far we've hooked up the uh, the 110 line so we can run our 110 outlets around the uh, around the boat, and then we've also hooked up the exhaust lines and the input lines. So I'm about to actually use the glow plugs here and start her up. Alright, one, two, three, clear. So yeah, we've done that a couple. Any thoughts, Seth? I'm ready for it to be turned on. <laughs> it's been a whole day. 
These guys have been working on it much longer than I have. Got it. All that hard work, we did it. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. So that concludes today's vlog. Okay, so I think we figured out what the issue was, and that's not that he had anything specifically wrong with the generator. It's that the hoses, the fuel line that makes kind of a circular line that goes all the way up to this master bedroom and then back to the generator was clogged up because um, like Mr. Millibor blew through it and I got an ear full of diesel. Yeah, do you want to explain to everyone what you're doing? Washing my face off because I put my ear up to a hose that Mr. Milleborg was unclogging. He unclogged it, but he unclogged it into my ear. And <laughs> into my mouth. I believe this is a 2005, a 9,000 kilowatt Northern Light diesel generator. It's fuel injected uh, and it's three cylinders. It weighs about 500 pounds. We've gotten it in here so far. So this generator is set up for uh, 240 if you want. You can have 240 on one leg or 110 on two legs. So we have it set up for 110 on two legs. So as far as getting it done, uh, I have to put a new gasket on this water pump. We have to replace a, a coolant hose on the other side. And then we just gotta get the fuel lines hooked up again and then hopefully we'll be cooking. Okay, so there's this blue line here, if you can see that. The new supply line running from the uh, little pump here back to the fuel tank. And that hopefully is going to stop our clogging problem. We just wired up a new switch here too, if you can see that, that turns this pump on. So here in a second we're going to uh, hey, are we see tied if we can everything? start the uh, generator. Yeah, yeah, we're tied. I'm crawling behind this engine to install a radiator hose. And there's yeah. about enough room here for me. Glow plugs. Clear. Please have to work. Clear. Please, 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 please. He's over my head for luck. Honestly, it worked last time like this, but it just wouldn't hold a load. So we gotta see if it's gonna hold that AC right there. What did you change? That AC over there and the fridge, because that's the three heaviest loads. So I'm about to switch the uh, the breaker down on the generator. All right, so we got we got 120 coming from the generator right now, which is awesome. That's what we're supposed to get. Now, I'm just going to start loading up with small stuff here. Okay, so all of the, this the kind of the normal everyday stuff is on right now. Next thing we're going to hit it with is an air conditioner. All right, here we go. This is a big one. Still good on temperature. Here we go, fridge. We have us a generator, baby! Yeah. How long have I been waiting for this thing to work? <laughs> Man! He's hilarious! <laughs> if you didn't even have to eat this sledgehammer. Okay, so we have completely installed our Northern Lights generator. The only thing left is we just gotta put some sound panels on it to keep the sound out. So I guess we're going to run it for the rest of the day. Then hopefully we're going to sail out tomorrow. So keep an eye out for the next vlog because that'll be sailing tomorrow. And we're just going to continue to load test this thing today. So thanks for watching. Um, if you've never installed a generator in a boat, this is how or that is how. Kind of. It really is not fun. Would like one out of ten would definitely not recommend. But you got to do what you got to do. Anyway, this is the first vlog here that we've had Seth. Yes. So you should see, I think there should be about two more vlogs with him here. 
So uh, keep a lookout for those. It's going to be legit. So uh, Also, if you like this video, click the like button. Yes. If you really liked it, please subscribe. Subscribe and click the bell icon. I don't know if you can actually hear us over that generator, but you should do both. Yes. That would really help us out. We're trying to get started. So. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anyway, uh, next time, uh, catch us on Oboe on Deck. <laughs>